Hello guys, Wizard here bringing you another Total War Warhammer replay with commentary. For today's battle we have the Warriors of Sigmar going against the Warriors of Cain, I guess. Are they warriors or murderers? I'm not sure. So let's just jump into the army composition. The, there's a lot of ground that both armies have to, um, I don't know, go. <laughs> so yeah, we have time. I have four units of spearmen, uh, on uh, two on each flank, two units of flagellants for the front line with the unit of Sigmar Sons, the regiment of renowned swordsmen. I have uh, knights of the blazing sun on this side and a demigriff knights uh, on the other. I have two units of outriders and two uh, great cannons, one of them the hammer of the witches here. And for my uh, lords and heroes, I have the Amethyst Wizard, the Deathcaster with his Power Stone, uh, Fate of Buna, Spirit Leech, and Life Leeching. Okay, that's uh, that was faster than I thought. <laughs> so for my army, he has three units of um, Scourge on a Chariot, a unit of Cold One Knights, three units of Shades who are still hidden in this battle, five units of Leak Swords, two units of Dark Rider with Shields, and yeah that's it and for his lord he has king malekith himself the king of druki with uh, gaze of malice stand your ground soul stealer blade wind and an interesting item here destroyer with spiteful conjuration so uh yeah let's just jump into the battle and see how we do uh, so as soon as i see my opponent i cast the spirit leech on his vanguarded uh, dark riders here and yeah i pivot my army on this front so i'll be able to hold the enemy advance while my cannons do the damage but uh, for some reason my opponent i don't know if he was chasing the knights of the blazing so sun or what but he yeah just charged into some spearmen i try to charge them with demigriff knights but unfortunately malekith breaks the charge and yeah the cold one nice charge as well and the uh cast of the storm of swords <laughs> what's the name of the ability blade dance yeah blade wind uh, was trying to catch my outrider did some damage but yeah overall I'll, i'm trying to, i i did dodge it the uh, shades reveal themselves and just destroy this pool unit of demigriff knights doing a lot of damage here and even though these uh, Knights of the Blazing Sun are really good units, they can't fight against Malekith and Cold One Knights with the support of these two Scourge and Chariots. I try to cast uh, um, Banishment here with Volkmar. Uh, I need to get, uh, get to these Shades and sh shut them down. But yeah, the game was a bit laggy, so dodging the... Uh, dodging the yeah, spells was not that hard so um, yeah my defense is broken my enemy brought his dark riders uh, from the back here trying to go after my outriders but fortunately my um, demigra uh, demigriff knights rallied and now a great charge here doing a lot of damage to these dark riders these guys uh, I don't know I think they were going for the outriders as well Fortunately, these Knights of the Blazing Sun also stop before they reach the white line, uh, which is really nice. They're gonna uh, they're gonna help me get rid of these disgusting shades, who are just too fast for me to catch. And yeah, uh, Malekith with his item was uh, putting Wolfmar's uh, abilities on cooldown, which was really annoying. I can tell you that. Unfortunately, I was trying to uh, fight these Kovon Knights, but my Amethyst Wizard uh, can't fight with seven <laughs> Kovon Knights, unfortunately. And my opponent goes after my uh, Great Cannon, which is a real shame. I really needed uh, those guys. But overall, uh, the battle is not going too bad for me. I've, I've been able to beat my opponent's front line. And yeah, the only problems are these shades and Malekith is just hot and tail of 
Volkmar. A beautiful Kassa uh, Soulfire here doing a good amount of damage. Uh, Volkmar with his uh, priest, warrior priest here, beating these uh, shades, sending them to the <laughs> Age of uh, Sigmar here. <laughs> yeah, as Stormcast probably. No, not Stormcast, these guys are evil. Never mind. <laughs> as elves, elves, dark elves, <laughs> whatever they are. Uh, a really nice charge here, getting into these shades, doing good amount of damage. And these spearmen are uh, really doing all they can to try to catch Malakif, who is chasing Volkmar this whole game. Yeah, that's uh, that's really not uh, enjoyable, trying to dodge Malakif and chasing these shades because if they if these guys are free, they're just gonna shoot everything to pieces. Yeah, finally I'm able to get rid of all of the Scourge and the Chariots now. These knights are free to get into these shades. And yeah, Malik is doing what he does best. Uh, making units blob and casting souls to them. And yeah, I, I was getting uh, pincered by these two shades. That's why I charge these shades with these uh, Outriders. And with the help of Workmar, these guys are able to get free but unfortunately yeah these guys are sh getting shot by these shades the amethyst wizard come back cast a spirit leech on malakith here and cast a beautiful fate of yuna is gonna destroy this nearly full hp unit of shades here really nice what a hero i really i was really happy that uh, this guy come back but in the back line i was able to free my um, units of, I mean, uh, um, Hammer of Witches crew. So yeah, they're going back to their cannons. And now I, I have a means to get rid of Malakit fast. I just need to move with Volkmar and yeah, shoot the, shoot uh, Malakit in the back. <laughs> These units of uh, Demigriff Knights were, were able to get rid of the, uh, What's, what's their name? Yeah, Dark Riders as well. So they're coming back into the fight. And yeah, Malakith just chasing over Volkmar. But uh, in this part of the battle, for some reason, I don't know why, but Malakith finally gives up. Uh, I don't know. Maybe because he was getting shot by uh, cannons. One of them were shooting uh, pretty close at Volkmar. But here we go. Let's get some... Uh, shades here <laughs> for Sigmar. Now I was uh, I was a bit hesitant to go after Malekith because I didn't want to get shot by cannon, but those cannon shots are freaking uh, accurate. So yeah, that was a really close battle and really scrappy one. Did I forget these guys? For, uh, I don't know what were what uh, they were fighting. So yeah. Let's just jump into the end screen and see what we have here. So for Rokmar, um, doing good amount of damage, 9000 damage is uh, really good, but the damage value is not that high. It's fine, but uh, yeah, he didn't pay for himself, but he was taking a lot of damage. I had to move him so he couldn't sit, sit into the uh, uh, infantry and getting cooldowns by Malachi's sword was not at all fun. And yeah, the Amethyst Wizard did really great. I think he is um, under 1000 um, gold cost wise. So he did a really a good amount of damage and good uh, amount of damage value. 1500. The Spearman, this one did fine. Really good, I mean. This one did good. Good. Yeah. And this three did fine. And yeah, the Unbreakable frontline also did fine these uh, knights of the blazing sun even though they were getting shot uh, by uh, three shades they still did fine really really good units here <clears throat> and demigriff knights also did fine they were getting shot as well and fighting malachit with soul stealer and a unit of cold one knights who did really really great these guys uh, yeah um, they did fine as well the Outriders, I, I was also able to do enough with them and the Hammers 
I mean, the Great Cannon and the Hammer of the Witches also did fine. Damage value of 1600. Really nice. Malakith, <laughs> 3000 damage value. Wow. Just, just wow. He wasn't even as his dragon. The Soul Stealers and hitting Orkmo the whole game, it paid off. These uh, chaps are really great now after they got their buff. I'm really happy with the big swords and, and red spears right now. Even the uh, dark shards are doing fine, I think. So yeah, they all did fine, even though they were fighting good units here. The Empire Chaff is really good. And the Shades, uh, fortunately, I was able to stop them from taking, uh, getting too much damage value with Volkmar and my Knights. The uh, Dark Riders did fine, nearly paid for themselves. This unit of Cold War Knight did really, really good. Maybe my opponent should have brought more. And yeah, fortunately, the Cannons and the Knights and my opponent, uh, bit of misplaying was uh, enough to uh, stop him from getting too much damage value so yeah that's it for this battle guys i hope you enjoyed it uh, if you did i would really appreciate it if you leave a like and subscribe i'm um i'm gonna put uh, my discord link into the uh, description of this video i would really uh, love it uh, if you guys join me there and we're gonna talk about some army composition you can ask me questions and stuff so yeah it would be great and yeah i upload videos daily by the way so stay tuned for that as well and yeah that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video uh see you guys soon bye